everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today I am here with the pathetic three pages <laughs> that I've managed to complete for the month of June and a mini tiny super little haul that I have um, about a couple of art supplies that I've picked up here and there over the past few months so without any more further ado let's just get started okay in no particular order um, I have a picture from Misfits. This is number eight, and this is by a White Stag or Tara Biddlespatcher, as she's also known. And this is uh, the Alien book. And this picture was on my radar to do for a quite some time, and I finally decided to complete it. So this picture is called the cosmic egg and as you can see which is so cool just like a night sky like if you look a certain way you can kind of see how the star the stars yeah the stars sparkle and i used my new stickles dark matter glitter gel for the sky it was a black matte acrylic base first and then i went and used a paintbrush with my dark matter stickles to make the sky this was a alcohol marker for the base of the ground. It looks like water, but it's meant to be ground. And I used the super tip marker here. And then I think I used the super tip marker base for her hair and her skin. And I then went over it with pencil. But yeah, I think I'm pretty sure her skin was super tip base. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I used my personal colors as well on this. And I started, which is so crazy, I started with the ground because I wanted it a teal blue because I knew I wanted her to have a red suit and I thought the colors would complement each other. So I did do that and then this was just a regular circle and then I actually drew this egg in the sky because, I mean, maybe she's on a really weird planet. It's called, it's called the Cosmic Egg, so I figured she was on, like, some adventurous planet that has a fried egg in the sky. But, yeah, I used my glossy accents on the egg yolk and then also, like, around the part of her helmet where I feel like it will reflect the sky. And all the egg yolks have glossy accents on them. Even the door, because I think that that should be like a yoke. I thought it would be funny. And then um, she has some silver stickles on her moon boots. <laughs> and I drew the shadow over here. I don't know what the heck kind of shadow I was doing. Her arm is not even bent like this. It should have been maybe her backpack or something. But, you know, I was just playing around trying to do like an elongated shadow. Even for my egg ship over here. And, yeah, I really had a lot of fun using my marker and my pencils going over. And this egg was really fun to draw. And I really want to get into drawing. I keep saying so. So I haven't gotten my sketchbook out yet. Maybe I'm doing baby steps in my color books drawing things before I get my sketchbook out. Because getting a sketchbook out to me seems intimidating. Like, yeah, I'm serious now. I'm not serious yet. So, <laughs> yeah, this was my picture of the Cosmic Egg. And she reminds me of Britney Spears in Oops, I Did It Again video. Because Britney had a red, like, pleather <laughs> suit on. And that was kind of my inspiration for this as well. And yeah, I had a lot of fun completing her, and I think she's adorable. And I don't do very many in this book. I think I just have the two. This one and her, yeah, I've only had the two, but I'm finally happy to have scratched that off my docket. I have a cool thing that I want to do with the background with this, but yeah, I really do like this book. And it's just, you know, I'm happy that I decided to go ahead and pick it up this month. Well, this past month. It's July 1st now. So we'll move on to the next picture. Okay, next I have a book. This is by Dada Mao, I believe. And I ordered this on AliExpress. And I think it's called like Chinese Poetry 1 or Chinese Poetry 2. Because I have both. It's three of them. Not sure. Don't speak the language. I wish I did. <laughs> then I could tell you. So, I actually has started. I want to show y'all. Oh my goodness. This picture, and I started this in polychromos like some months ago, and I really cannot stand how it came out in any capacity. It's horrible. Her skin is horrible. I don't know why I couldn't make my pencils work. It was just a mess. And then one page I actually tore out because it was so terrible. But I regrouped, and I decided to come back to this book, and I completed this page in June. And I don't know what it's called. I don't know what's going on, but in my mind, as y'all know, I make up stories. It's like... You have the emperor here and he's like, look at everything that I have. 
Look at what all I own and possess in the world. And she's like, sir, are you ready for your tea? Like, <laughs> in my mind, that's what's going on in this picture. But any hoozles, I used ink tints on the water and neo color too for the sky the mountains and i did use as you can see an alcohol marker base for their clothing and their skin and then i went over with pencil and i believe i used my prisma colors i'm pretty certain i used my prisma colors but i really love how his cheek his cheeks look that i did i love his hair and everything and then i really like her nose that i did because they don't have noses so you know that's me trying I'm drawing a little bit y'all I'm drawing a little bit trying to do little cartoony things but yeah she has some glitter gel paint on her little ribbons and things blowing and I really am proud of the shadow that I was able to achieve like maybe on the back of this uh, part that you go into the boat in so yeah and then I used my Ganza Tambi Starry Gold watercolor on all this part and I did this very lastly because I didn't very lastly is that a thing very last I don't know I did this last because I didn't know what this was <laughs> and it was his hat and I'm like dang that must be heavy and awkward to fit through like how he has to take that off to go in there like it's no way anyway through any door <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about this but yeah this was <laughs> my picture and I'm really uh, proud of how it came out and that I was able to do something finally on this paper because I love my Chinese coloring books but this paper is different than the other ones in some minuscule way it really is different oh and I use super tips on the um, grass right here and yeah my mountains look very mountainy like the texture of the paper picked it up and I don't mind because I think that adds a little extra to it but yeah this was the end result of this picture okay last but certainly not least I have a picture in Pop Manga, Manga, Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures by Camilla Derrico. And I can't wait to see her new book. She's supposed to be coming out with a new book in the fall. I really want to see a flip though before I buy it because it's called Something About Creatures and I don't know how I feel about that yet. So, any hoozles, here is a picture that I completed. And I was, it was white and she may look familiar because she was a skin tutorial on my channel so if you want to check that out you definitely can I'll try to um I can't promise I'll leave a link but it's on my channel it's in the playlist how I color that's what it's titled and all the skin is in that playlist different skins that I do anywho like I was saying before I got distracted all of this was white and I did the background with neo color too and then I took some white acrylic paint with a cosmetic sponge and dab to make some sea waves and I used Posca to you know extend the water a bit out and then I used my Posca to do like the little water reflections I don't know what this is called like when water has that I guess it's a reflection and I've never done an end page and this is my first end page to ever do and it was just so much potential to do something fun so I did the sand and I drew little footprints and yeah I just had a lot of fun with this one and it was really quick it went by in a handful of hours which is unusual for me because I'm really slow believe it or not when I color but yeah I gave her some beachy vibes with her hair being glittered up and then her little beach outfit. I love the color that I chose. This was actually Neo Color 2, if I'm not mistaken. And then I went over with um, Polychromos. Her skin was done in Black Widows. Again, you can check the video out on my channel. And then I did use um, Prismacolor for the bronze. And I used Super Tips as a base for the tools. And then I went over with Pencil. And then he's done in all Super Tips for my turtle. And then this was Neo Color 2 as well, base, and then I went over it with pencil. So yeah, that's everything done on this. And I used my Winkle Stella for the glitter in her hair and the um, her little beach outfit. And if you don't know what Winkle Stella is, it's this thing and it's a brush and the glitter comes out wet and watery. <laughs> that's why I don't like it. But it's growing on me, you know, it's, it has a really good shimmer. It's not glittery, it's shimmery. And it's flat, so if you can't use stickles, you can, you know, that can be an alternative as well. And I think I used some metallic pen on these metal things too. But yeah, this is the end result of this picture. I talked a whole near head about it. And then I have, um, I don't know if these, to me, these were like little wheels from cars that kids bought to the beach. And like, I just made them black look like tires, like wheels off of broken toys. And here's a little ball, so yeah, I just had a little fun with this one and so now I will show you all my super tiny mini haul It's nowhere near the haul a lot of people usually do but 
I'm just going to show you some things that I maybe haven't shown you that I've picked up so we'll just go ahead and get into that okay so you may have seen these two before but this is the Chinese poetry one and two I believe don't know which is which but yeah I ordered these on Aliexpress right before the pandemic happened and I regret it because these were on my wish list way before the pandemic and I never bought them and then it delayed it getting to me but I'm really happy to have them and these are really cool books and um, yeah they come with this oh oh my goodness where is this oh stuck to the it's stuck to the spine so it can lay flat it's made this way but yeah it can both come with this cool watercolor card and you fold it out and I don't know if I've shown this before I can't recall um, but yeah it's these are really cute the paper is um, an adjustment because it's different from Dada Mouse other books but I still love the images nonetheless and it's really cute and tiny you can take it with you carry it around if you want um, if you color places so I think that's really cool also during quarantine time I've purchased three more Lulu Mayo books my first book by her was a million sloths and then I purchased a million dogs and the whip that I showed y'all last month is still here uncomplete did not touch it have not done anything else to it and I hope to do so you know soon so together um, around June 8th I purchased these um, when this came out because I got it like the day or so I don't know I don't remember anyway purchase them together here's a million bears we all know what Lulu Mayo style is about if not I have a flip through of this book on my channel you can check it out but yeah I really am excited about this book because I was super pumped when she said she was going to do a mermaid book and it's mermen in here too I forgot to mention that in my flip there is a lot of cute little mermaid boys in this book but yeah I love mermaids personally and I like her style and it's just some easy coloring to do and it's really fun and simple sometimes where you don't have to think too much and yeah I, I really like this book I don't know why I was flipping through because I just like looking at the pictures <laughs> And then this is a million bears. I think we already looked at that. So this one is the most recent one that I purchased, which is the classic comic coloring book. There's a flip through of this available on my channel as well. And like I said in my video of the flip through, I saw this book two or three years ago. And then I finally decided to pick it up because it comes and goes on Amazon a lot and the price fluctuates a lot. So, you know, if you want to get it, it'll be there. Um, if it's not, it'll be coming <laughs> eventually. So yeah, I really um, am excited to start in this book. And I have a few pages picked out that I would love to do. Like, I really want to do, like, this page on my channel. You don't have to have the book. I just want to, you know, color it. I don't know, though, if I'm going to do it for sure on the channel. But I know this is one that I would like to do soon. And then you all know about this one, which is my only book by Elena Lazareva, which is Elegant Beauties. And I purchased this around quarantine time it was like late april march and yeah it's like medium kind of light medium grayscale going on here and um you guys remember chelsea that i did i'll just show you and i named her chelsea um she doesn't have a name but i named her that and i've done this one and it's the only one that i've done in this book so far but yeah those are all the books that i've been purchasing during this time and then now we'll just move on to some supplies that i've grabbed so y'all know i love my washi tape in my chinese coloring books and i purchased this set of washi tape on amazon um a couple of weeks ago and you do get different sizes because you get some tiny ones like this then you get like the regular size rolls and then you get like this jumbo roll which I really am excited about. I really like this. This will really help me. I feel like when I'm coloring really huge. Um, well not coloring. But when I want to cover really huge. Spaces of clothing. But I really like the gold foiling on it. And they're really pretty. And so I do have like three more. <laughs> in my cart. Um, that I want to purchase. And one is just all blacks. And I think that will be really cool. But yeah this is purchased on Amazon US couple of weeks ago and yeah I can't wait to use some of these okay I figured it was a time for me to re-up and I went and got the dark tones in the Black Widows uh, backup set because mine are so tiny and y'all know y'all see my pencils when I'm doing skin they are pathetic so I do need a backup and then I also went and bought a backup of my plain Black Widows 
so I haven't even opened them the plastic still on them so I do plan on purchasing the Cobras and the Scorpions another backup set of that but I just am not going to do that right now these two I felt like I wanted to have right now so I went ahead and grabbed those up I can't remember if I showed y'all this but I bought this little stencil thing so that I can make some shapes like my circles and everything in my pictures and it's really cool because it has like a grooved bottom so that it doesn't move when you put it on paper it's really cool and yeah I purchased this I can't remember if I showed y'all or not but here it is just in case okay so I always buy white gel pens so that's nothing new and I never thought I would like anything more than my Signo um white gel pens but the jelly roll really give them a run for their money I love the jelly roll white gel pen now and these are all a size 8 I bought a 3 pack and I also bought some other ones, but I mean, I'm always buying white Poscas, black Poscas, and white gel pens. So, I mean, it's nothing really exciting to see. But I'm excited for these because jelly rolls are so expensive on Amazon US to me. Um, and I was able to grab a couple out of the, I think I went to the Hobby Lobby where I got these uh, because I actually just got back from Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> like two days ago, visiting my beau and. I went in the Hobby Lobby because we don't have one here where I'm from in DC and so I went in there and they had some Jelly Roll singles and I bought all the ones I think that they had out there and they had some packs of the pins but I wasn't really interested in those because I mean they didn't have the colors that I really want so I'm going to show you all if I can find the page of the Jelly Rolls what they look like so here they are so they're metallic so I have like two greens a silver a gold this black is actually like dark gray and yeah I really like them I haven't used them on a picture yet but they're super metallic and I can't wait to use them on a page okay so I have the color Technic gel pens I forget which set I have but I don't have the really huge set that I wanted because it's sold out on Amazon and it hasn't been back so what I did was I went ahead and bought some glitter gel pen refills now I bought these <laughs> and this is gonna sound crazy because I ran out of my black glitter gel pen and black glitter gel pen is one of my favorite types of glitter gel pen like if it's a black one because it looks so awesome so I wanted black and I ended up buying the 80 refill set so these are numbered so that you know what number you have and they do all have a cap on them so that you can store them nicely and not fret about them spilling and yeah it's just I keep them in the box and I took one out like a copper colored one I think and you can put them in any gel pen like you can just screw it off and slip them in there it's totally the same thing no difference really and here are all the colors so I actually sat and out of my mind <laughs> swatched these out because I never really swatch anything but I've really been getting into the habit of swatching in my book so here are all the colors and I pretty much laid all these out, organized them by eyesight about how I think they would look and then I swatched them that way and I wrote their letters and numbers down coordinating. So it is um, glitter and neon in this 80 set, the same as my color Technic um, pins that I do have. And yeah, so some of these probably are duplicates of what I have already, that's totally fine, but then a lot of these are new to me because I don't know which set. <laughs> how many I have it's not the 80 set of the gel pens I have I don't know which set I have but I know I don't have all these colors so yeah they're really pretty and glittery and color technique I think makes really good gel pens like they're super glittery and I really enjoy using them so yeah that's the I think this was like ten dollars on Amazon and when I say Amazon I mean Amazon US and so yeah I think that's how much they were and yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase uh, they work really cool so it tells you you get 42 glitter and 38 neon so yeah really satisfied with this and happy with the purchase okay I went to check I have a 30 set of the color Technics so clearly 50 of these colors are colors I don't own any hoozles so I happened upon these char chalk oh my gosh chalk markers there we go we can speak English um chalk markers on Amazon and what made me um, gravitate toward them what attracted me was I thought these colors were unusual so they're really fat and they are chalk markers so you can use this on glass you can use this on a blackboard 
um, and you can wash them off with a wet cloth and they pretty much work like pastas because you have to like hold the tip and everything so look I numbered them because I had to swatch them but if you look how thick the marker is it's like a huge like kid marker people were using these during the COVID thing to write on windows and stuff so you know these are cool for that um yeah it tells you ceramics plastics mirrors like and you can wipe this off so yeah car glass like for graduations or whatever you're doing concerning that oh my gosh if it'll fit back in the box okay so these are what the caps look like and then I actually have these swatched out if you care to see what they look like now they did like peel my paper when I swatched these out because I mean this is like thin notebook paper so it did kind of peel them but I really enjoy these colors I like the somehow they look pastel and then there's some brights in there and then cigar is a brown one which is it's like a burnt like a burnt sienna terracotta type of color it's really pretty and I usually don't see these colors so that's why I decided to pick these up and I really like olive this not olive but it's like a dark green and like a lime like these colors are just unusual for me so I really um, am happy that I decided to go ahead and purchase these because they sat in my cart for like two three weeks before I was like okay let me get them so as you can see I numbered them so that I could put them in order and um Oh my goodness. Oh, I wanted to show you the nib on it. So, it's like a fat nib. So, this will probably be used in backgrounds and stuff. Most likely for me, I'm not going to color something tiny with it because it wouldn't fit. But, yeah, like you can see, I um, number them so that they can have some type of organization. And I think that's pretty much everything that I would like to show you all that I purchased. I mean, I've bought like paper and everything, but I mean, I. To me that's inconsequential so it doesn't really matter oh you know what I am lying I bought one more thing when I went to Michael's when I went down in Atlanta I purchased some singles of the Karen Dosh Karen Dash whatever super color twos I don't have the set I know these are popular a lot of people have them but I don't have any of them and they have some singles out that you can purchase and of course I purchased some uh, I purchased some singles of Prismacolor too, but you don't probably care about that. It's inconsequential again. So let me just show you the colors that I have. So here I swashed them out dry, and then here I swashed them out wet, and I freaking love these. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, these coordinate, coordinate with my Neo Color too, obviously because they're from the same brand, company, whatever. And so I'm really excited to be able to smooth out my Neo Color 2 um, if I have some of these coordinating colors. I think it'll work really well. And then these are really smooth and creamy dry. They look so nice dry too. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out to get the full set when I get some extra funds going because I really like them. And yeah, so now that is everything that I have purchased <laughs> during this time, I'm going to go ahead. I know this is crazy looking, but I don't have a case for them. And it's only a few, and so I just keep them in this hairband. <laughs> but that's pretty much my completed pages and everything that I've purchased um, that you you know that I wanted to throw out there that I've purchased and y'all know I bought this stuff so like some things I'm just you know you know I have and then I bought like this paint and then this paint from Target and I actually swashed it out a little bit um, and it's the metallic light copper and then this purple that is iridescent it's really cool so yeah I bought those two paints too really cool but that's pretty much everything that I've been purchasing I'm super excited about my purchases um, I don't really haul like huge amounts of things because that's just not how I roll. Um, if you do, that's totally fine. But you know, I just pick up things here and there. So yeah, I'm super excited about my recent purchases. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoy seeing my measly three pages for the month, <laughs> and I hope you all are staying safe and well out there wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all in my next video.